In this video, I'm going to show you the absolute best travel vlogging video setup, and it all fits in this case. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you what I think is the absolute best travel vlogging kit. It's a kit that I put together myself for all of my travel videos, and I don't see many other YouTubers using this exact setup, and I really think it's the best setup on the market right now. And the best part about it is it all fits in this case right here. If you're new here, my name is Evan Reinheimer. I'm an artist, and I travel around the world using a kite to lift my camera and take unique aerial photographs from around the world. I exhibit and sell my work at fine art festivals, and I film a lot of my travels and post them on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you everything that's in the kit that I film my videos with. And as I go through everything in the kit, don't worry about writing anything down. I'm going to be listing everything that I talk about in the description of this video so you have it all in one place. When I was putting together this kit to film my travels, there were three important factors that I looked for in a camera and accessories. First was quality. I wanted a camera and accessories that would shoot really good high quality video and audio. So there's nothing worse than watching a YouTube video that's low quality and you can hardly hear. The second thing is ease of use. I wanted cameras that I could use really easily and basically just throw in my bag, take out, turn on, and they're ready to shoot. And the third, and probably most important of all, was portability. Because I have to take a lot of other camera equipment with me, I didn't want my video kit to be so large and bulky that it became cumbersome carrying around. That's why I designed this kit and figured a way to fit everything in my travel vlog kit into this case right here. Okay, so first things first. The very first thing that I needed in this kit is a main camera. For my main vlogging camera, I chose the Sony ZV-1. This is a really popular compact camera that was built with vloggers in mind. It's super small, you can throw it right in your pocket. The video and audio quality on this are both excellent. So it's really a great camera choice. It's actually what I'm filming on right now. I liked this camera so much that I bought another one for my wife. I use the ZV-1 as my primary shooting camera. It's what I talk to the camera with because it has the best quality audio. I shoot B-roll with it. It has a great zoom lens. Because of its size, it's really portable. I love how fast it turns on. You just open the back screen and bam, it's on and ready to film. It comes with one of these fuzzy windscreen things you see here on the top, which helps cut out any wind noise. It has an external mic port. However, I didn't want to have to deal with an external mic when I'm traveling. It just adds more bulk to my kit. The built-in microphone on this camera is really super. The screen flips around so you can watch yourself while you're filming yourself. Great for selfies, great for walking and vlogging. Really excellent quality design right there. It has an active steady shot function, so it helps to smooth your video while you're doing something like walking and vlogging, and that's a great feature that I love about this camera. And it's pretty inexpensive, so for the money, you really can't beat the Sony ZV-1 for a vlog camera. One downside of the screen is that if you wear polarized sunglasses like I do, outside you won't be able to see the screen at all, so you need to put a special screen protector on the screen so you're able to see while you're wearing polarized sunglasses. I made a video showing what screen protector you need and how to apply it, and I'll put that in the description of this video as well, too. One small downside of this camera that I hear a lot of people talk about is the field of view. They wish that the wide-angle lens were just slightly wider. However, it's never bothered me, but they do make a wide-angle converter that you can get for this camera that makes your wide-angle a little bit wider, and people seem to like that. Personally, I didn't feel the need for it, so I don't have it, but I'll put a link for it in the description of this video if you want to check it out. The next thing in my kit is a GoPro. This is a Hero 9. They just came out with a Hero 10 just a few weeks ago. I really recommend getting either a Hero 9 or a Hero 10 because the Hero 9 was the first GoPro to have a front-facing screen for taking selfies. And I find this is a really important thing to have when you're doing travel vlogging. The Hero 10 has it as well. If you want to save a little money, go with the Hero 9. If you have a little bit of extra money, go with the Hero 10. They're both great cameras. The quality on both is excellent. I shouldn't really have to explain GoPro too much to you, so we'll keep this kind of light. The GoPro I use is a secondary camera. I use it for like action B-roll shots, point of view filming. So while I'm flying my kites, I can mount this somewhere where I can get a good point of view for kite flying or attaching my camera to the kite line. Shoot a lot of B-roll walking around with this. And I also sometimes use this as a vlogging camera because the audio on the 9 and 10 are also really good. 
I also shoot time lapses with this camera too. It has a great time lapse setting, it has an awesome hyperlapse setting, a really versatile camera for B-roll. So, highly recommended. And that brings me to my first accessory here for the GoPro, which is this little spongy looking foam thing. What this is, is a windscreen for the audio mic on the GoPro so that you don't get that wind noise. A really inexpensive and as far as I'm concerned, must have accessory for the GoPro. When I'm traveling, I'll usually just leave this on all the time, even if I'm not planning to use the audio from the GoPro. Having it on still gives me the option in case I want to use audio from the GoPro. The next thing you're going to want in your travel vlog kit is a selfie stick or a little tripod that you can use to walk and vlog with or set up a camera somewhere and talk to it. And this is what I recommend. This is the Joby Gorillapod Action. It's a much smaller Gorillapod than you see a lot of other vloggers use. Gorillapods are really popular with vloggers, and you see a lot of them using those really big Gorillapods. I really don't think you need one of those for the ZV-1 camera or the GoPro. This Gorillapod action is excellent. You can still use it to film yourself while you're walking around and vlogging. I'll put the ZV-1 on here now so you can see. It has a little tripod mount, easy to attach to the bottom of any camera with a tripod screw. Using this with the ZV-1 gives you plenty of extra reach so you can walk around and film yourself. It also comes with a mount for your GoPro so you can mount the GoPro to the Gorillapod using this and then walk around and vlog with the GoPro or set up the GoPro somewhere and film yourself doing whatever it is you do or take a time lapse while it's on the tripod. This is a really versatile piece of equipment so absolutely highly recommended. The Gorillapod Action is the perfect size for the ZV-1 and the GoPro. So next, I'll talk about this box that I keep all these cameras and accessories in. This actually is a GoPro case, and it came with the GoPro Hero 9. GoPro also includes this in a kit with their Hero 10. I recommend buying the kit that comes with one of these because you can put your entire kit in this and then just throw it in your backpack, you can carry it, you can even add a little strap and wear it around you. This is a really awesome semi-hard case that'll keep all your stuff safe, compact, and in one place. When I was designing my travel vlog kit, I wanted something that was really portable, that didn't become cumbersome because I'm taking so much other gear with me. I wanted something that was light, compact, and something I could just throw in my camera bag and take with me anywhere. And this case is the perfect size for that. Other things that are in this case, I have some extra batteries for the ZV-1. This is a brand that I found to be really good quality, and the batteries cost a lot less than the Sony batteries. So if you want to save a little money, I'll put a link to these in the description as well. These are great uh, third-party batteries for the ZV-1 camera. You want to make sure you have enough battery power in your camera so that when you're traveling and walking around, you don't run out of juice. So always keep a few extra batteries fully charged in your kit. Also have an extra GoPro battery, really important. I think you should at least have two GoPro batteries. GoPro sells a kit that comes with this box, an extra battery, and a couple other mounts that are really important to have, like this magnetic clip mount. And this is probably my favorite GoPro clip mount because you can clip it to something, and it's also magnetic, so you can stick it to the outside of the car. The magnet is really strong, so you can get some cool outside vehicle shots or you know, stick it on a refrigerator and then you can use your refrigerator as a tripod or something. So this is a really great mount to have. Speaking of GoPro mounts, I see a lot of people wearing the chest mount for the GoPro. I really didn't like the chest mount, so what I got is the head mount. And I really like the head mount. It looks goofy as hell when you're wearing it, but this allows me to get some really great point of view video using the GoPro. And this is what I wear when I'm flying my kite or doing something where I need my hands and so you can kind of get a, a view of what I'm seeing while I'm creating my artwork. Another great accessory for the GoPro, and this isn't one that I use very often, but my wife really likes this as opposed to the head mount because my wife has really nice hair, so she doesn't want to put the GoPro mount on her head, so she got this wrist strap that she can use, and then it just fits around her wrist. Really another great accessory to have for your GoPro and not a very expensive one either. So this is pretty much the entire kit that I use for my travel vlogging. As you can see, it's not that much stuff, and I'm still able to produce really high quality videos for YouTube. But there is one more thing that I use that doesn't fit into this box, so let's clear the table and I'll show that to you right now. This is the case that the other thing that I use comes in, and in here we have my drone. 
It's a DJI Mavic Air 2 that I use. Drone footage really isn't a main part of my video, so I chose a drone that is nice and small and shoots really great high quality video. What I do like about it is it allows me to film my kites when they're in the air so I can get some really cool aerial footage of my kites flying in the sky. It just adds a nice little element to my videos. DJI also makes a Mavic Mini, which if you're concerned about price or space but you still want a drone, I'd recommend the Mavic Mini as a second choice also. What I liked about the Mavic Air 2 over the Mavic Mini is that the Mavic Air 2 has more features where it follows you, or you can set it to do certain flight patterns that the Mavic Mini just won't do. However, they're both great choices if you do want to add a drone to your travel vlog kit. And you should get the Fly More Combo. The Fly More Combo comes with a carrying case like this and two extra batteries. Really good things to have because you want to make sure you're always charged up. Just be aware that countries have different drone laws, so I don't always take the drone with me when I'm traveling because I don't want it to get confiscated at the airport. Now we've really spoke about everything that's in my main travel vlogging kit, so I'm going to tell you about some bonus things that I keep in my kit too, and these will really help you add some extra cool footage to your video. So again, let's clear the table and have a look at those. This is probably my favorite bonus accessory that I'm going to show you. This is an egg timer. What this does is I've modified it in a way that allows me to take a panning time lapse using the GoPro. And a panning time lapse is really great for transitional clips or to add some interest to your video. So for about $7 you can really notch up your YouTube videos using one of these. And maybe you've seen this before. How it works is you take a GoPro sticky mount and you just use the adhesive to stick it to the top of the egg timer. The difference on this one is that on the bottom of this egg timer I drilled a hole and then I added bushing for a tripod. So now I can mount the panning time-lapse egg timer onto a tripod or my Gorillapod. Using the Gorillapod tripod mount, it screws right into the tripod bushing on the bottom and then I can slide it right onto the Gorillapod. I could use this like a tripod, I could wrap it around a sign or a tree and then make a panning time-lapse. Set your GoPro to time-lapse mode Turn the egg timer, and then as the time runs out on the egg timer, the egg timer actually turns so you get a really cool smooth panning time lapse. I put together a video showing how I made the panning time lapse egg timer. Um, I'll put the link to that video in the description of this one too in case you want to make your own. And then the last little bonus thing I have for you here is this thing. You've probably seen these a bunch before. They used to be on the end of selfie sticks for phones. You really don't see selfie sticks like that anymore. Isn't that weird? I wonder where they all went. Um, anyway. This you can use to hold your phone like that and then using the Gorillapod mount that goes on a tripod you can snap it onto your Gorillapod and then you have a tripod that'll work with your phone. You can use it like this to film for your vlog. You can even mount it vertically so you can film uh, TikToks and Reels with it. Nice little accessory to have and only a few dollars. You can throw it right in that kit with all your other travel vlogging stuff. So that's it. That's my entire travel vlog kit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share this with a friend, and if you're going to be buying anything that I spoke about, I'd really appreciate it if you used those links. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and see all of my touring schedule on my website. Thanks for watching.